So I have the pleasure to introduce Ivan Mura. Maybe nobody will know <laughs> him. <laughs> Please see. It should start. Thank you. Uh, my presentation is about the anomalous excess heat with, uh, uh, by the uh, collaboration uh, ex research with Clean Planet. Okay. And uh, here is the uh, uh, contents of my presentation. Uh, firstly, I uh, describe uh, a background and experimental method. And uh, uh, experimental results I will describe. First, uh, I will explain about the D2 gas experiment with nickel and the palladium nanostructured surface. And uh, second, uh, I will talk about the numerical radiation heat analysis for this experiment. And also, uh, we'll, I will explain about the elemental analysis by EDS and uh, observation by SAM. And uh, lastly, I would like to uh, describe about the hydrogen gas experiments. Okay, so background. Uh, this is a uh, uh, work by Dr. Mizuno. Uh, Dr. Mizuno uh, performed the uh, excess heat experiments like this. He made a uh, uh, palladium nickel nanosurface in the chamber, and uh, using, uh, using a plasma discharge, he made a palladium nickel nanostructure. And uh, D2 gas or H2 gas introduced into the chamber and observed anomalous excess heat effect. And uh, this is an uh, example of his uh, results. Uh, this is, uh, this uh, uh, time, and uh, this point is 35 days, and he got a uh, uh, very large uh, 78 watt excess heat. So the objective of this presentation is uh, uh, to replication, to replicate his anomalous uh, excess heat uh, reported by uh, Dr. Mizuno. And uh, <coughs> uh, we, uh, condensed matter nuclear reaction division at Tohoku University started at uh, April uh, tw 2015. So uh, we, uh, we are mainly uh, engaged in the transmutation experiments. So uh, we have not so much experience about the uh, excess heat experiments. So uh, we started this uh, replication of the anomalous heat generation by Mizuno uh, as a first step on excess heat research. So, and based on these results, uh, now we are seeking uh, its feasibility as a new energy source. Uh, this is our experimental result, uh, experimental apparatus. This is the outer uh, uh, f figure, outer uh, look, looks. And uh, in this chamber, uh, we have uh, uh, ceramic heater here, and uh, around the ceramic heater we have a palladium wire, and uh, we made a uh, nanostructure on this uh, palladium wire surface using this nickel wire, nickel mesh, and the palladium lot. And this fig this figure shows a, a detail uh, of the. Uh, ceramic heater and uh, uh, palladium wire and the palladium lot. Uh, we have uh, some couples uh, in this heater, built in this heater. So this some couple is uh, isolated from the outer hydrogen or deuterium. And uh, out uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, palladium wire like this. This is a uh, ceramic heater and this one is uh, Palladium wire, and uh, we make uh, we make nano structure uh, by palladium and nickel on this surface. Okay, and this is uh, experimental procedure uh, of our uh, replication experiments. First, uh, we made a, a reference line, a blank line. 
uh, this one is uh, no activation, no nanostructure. And uh, we put the uh, input power into the heater and measure uh, the uh, temperature uh, of the uh, heater and the other place. And we introduce the D2 or hydrogen and uh, also we measure uh, the temperature. Uh, these are the uh, reference length. And after that, we fabricate uh, palladium nickel or nanostructure using a grow discharge uh, under argon gas. And after, after making a nano, uh, palladium and nanostructure, we bake uh, for 50 hours to remove the water and the other uh, impurities. And then we introduce D2 gas absorption. And after that, for a grand run, with activated nanostructure, the palladium nickel material, material uh, and like, like reference lamp, we put the input power into the heater and measure the uh, uh, temperature. And uh, after that, we introduce a D2 gas and uh, also we uh, measure the temperature. And we compare the uh, temperature between the reference lamp and the foreground lamp. And we will judge the excess heat by uh, this data, K. So this is the uh, figure, uh, how to make a uh, nanostructure by uh, grow this church. Uh, we have a, a platinum wire and a platinum rod and nickel mesh, uh, a little bit complicated, but, uh, uh, and the first process is uh, a palladium rod, uh, we apply the minus voltage, about the one kilovolt to palladium rod, and uh, nickel mesh uh, to uh, ground it. And second process is uh, uh, palladium, we put the palladium wire plus a voltage and the nuclear mesh is grounded. Uh, it, this is a figure of a glow discharge. First process uh, discharge and second process discharge. And we, uh, we uh, repeated these process uh, many times and we uh, get the palladium nickel nanostructure. Okay, uh, this is a figure of a uh, uh, nanostructure fabrication. And, uh, but this uh, figure is uh, after uh, experiment. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is the uh, SEM image of the palladium wire after ex experiment. Uh, this place uh, is, uh, looks like a palladium, and uh, this one is a fabricated uh, nanostructure. And uh, if, we, if we look at the, this area, we can see that uh, uh, palladium nickel nanostructure uh, like this. Uh, this one is a uh, rather mm, very large, a uh, few hundred nanometers. And uh, uh, of course we have a very small one. So uh, this, uh, anyway, we have uh, some uh, nanostructure using this uh, method. Uh, this method is based on the, uh, Dr. Mizuno, as I said. Okay, so I would like to uh, explain about the experimental result. Firstly, a D2 gas experiment. Okay. Uh, this at first uh, I can uh, I will show the reference runs uh, results of reference run. Okay. <clears throat> this is a reference run data under uh, one Pascal. Uh, heat temperature is here and the power input is here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we can see, uh, we can get a uh, carriation curve like this. Uh, and if we input the D2 gas, uh, a little bit uh, different, but uh, we can get a, a very uh, precise uh, reference data like this. Okay, the next one is a fabrication of a palladium and nanostructure. Oh. This is a fabricated nanostructure nickel and palladium surface. 
this scale is one micrometer. So uh, as I shown before, uh, we have a, a very large one, but uh, uh, we have a small uh, few nanometers from few nanometers and uh, a few hundred nanometers uh, st structure. Okay. And uh, we'll describe about the foreground RAM. Okay. This is the uh, results of a, a reference run, and uh, this one is uh, uh, for a grand run. Uh, in this case, uh, we apply uh, 40 watt input. Uh, this biograph bu show, uh, already shown in ICCF 20. Uh, red one uh, means uh, uh, heated temperature. Heated temperature uh, means uh, uh, some couple temperature built in the heater, and around around heater we have a palladium uh, wire, and on the palladium wire we have a, a nanostructure. So, uh, heater temperature for back uh, blank run is about uh, 714 degrees centigrade, but uh, for gland run nanostructure. Uh, we have a uh, 764 degrees centigrade. The difference between the blank run and the foreground run is about uh, 50 uh, degrees centigrade. And if we uh, input the D2 gas like this, about uh, uh, 270 pascal, uh, we also uh, observe the difference between the blank run and the foreground run. But uh, okay. In this case, we can calculate the uh, uh, ratio of excess heat by input power. Uh, in this case, uh, one Pascal case is about uh, 0 0.18, and uh, this case 0 0.55. So, uh, 18 percent and 5.5 percent for this case. And if we fail the making uh, nanostructure, this is a difference run and uh, for a ground run, but uh, we did not uh, any uh, in temperature increase like this. Okay. And this is a, another uh, example. Uh, if we input 7 watt, very small, uh, and uh, we get about uh, 300 degrees centigrade. Uh, we can get a uh, very large uh, temperature difference. Blank run is uh, 300, about 300, but the foreground run above 427. And so we get uh, uh, 120 degrees centigrade uh, be uh, between the reference and the foreground. And if we uh, put uh, D2 gas, we also have a uh, uh, temperature increase uh, about 32 degrees. In this case, uh, excess heat and input power reached about uh, 83 percent, and in this case, 25 percent. Okay. Okay. Yes. And uh, we checked the uh, this results by numerical radiation heat analysis because uh, uh, we are conscious about the uh, radiation, heat radiation from the surface because uh, uh, due to the surface modification, uh, we would have some uh, uh, radiation heat transfer coefficient. So we make, uh, uh, we make a numerical calculation like this using a console, and uh, we get the results. If, uh, if we uh, postulate that the emissivity of palladium nickel nanostructure material goes down zero point, if, if we postulate zero point one, uh, exis, ex, experiment one case, we can explain. But uh, in the case of 300 degrees case, even if emissivity go down from 0 0.7 to 0 0.4, uh, it is uh, not. Uh, it is very difficult to postulate, uh, even though uh, difficult to 
uh, about a 70 degrees increase. So uh, we cannot explain by this uh, change of uh, emissivity of the surface. So we can judge that the uh, uh, result is uh, due to the anomalous excess heat. And uh, uh, we'll show you the uh, elemental analysis by the EDS and uh, SAM after experiment. This is, uh, this is uh, 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 some image uh, of the uh, pliating wire uh, after experiment. These areas uh, correspond to the mainly a palladium, and uh, this one is a nanostructured surface. And this one is an EDS spectrum for 0.3 and 0.4 and 0.5. And uh, we can see that the 0.3 and 0.5, 0 0.3 and 0.5, uh, sorry, 0.4, uh, we can see the 0.4 uh, here, orange line, and the 0.5 uh, blue line, and the red, red line means the 0.3. Now we can see uh, that the difference uh, between the 0.3 and other places like this. And if we look at uh, these areas clo uh, closely, we can see that the difference of a spectrum. At the point three, we can see that the uh, uh, silicon and, and uh, uh, other many uh, elements like this. So, uh, and uh, also, we can see other points. Uh, this data uh, is other place, uh, 003 point. A uh, little bit <laughs> complicated, but uh, this, this place is different from point three here, point different from point three. Other place, 003 point. Uh, we can see that uh, cad cadmium uh, elements and uh, silicon and uh, uh, nickel, nickel is uh, very uh, reasonable, but uh, we can see that uh, other elements like this. And uh, based on our uh, experience of transmutation experiments, uh, we, uh, we would like to uh, these cadmium uh, due to this kind of uh, transmutation reactions. But uh, mm, at this point, uh, we do not have a mass analysis data, and so uh, we would like to uh, investigate uh, more and more about the elemental analysis. Anyway, anyway, we have uh, uh, many elements, uh, foreign elements like uh, this, and depending on the position uh, of the uh, platinum wire after uh, experiment. Okay. Okay, so I'd like to talk about the hydrogen gas ex experiments. This is the results for hydrogen gas experiment. The other uh, process is all the same for the D2 gas experiment. Only the difference is the hydrogen gas we put. In this case, uh, difference uh, data is here. If we input 20 watt input, uh, the, in the difference case, 655 degrees centigrade, but uh, for four grand run, about of 724 degrees centigrade, like this. And also, if we input the uh, hydrogen gas, uh, of course, uh, almost all the same uh, power, uh, pressure, we get the uh, uh, higher temperature increase about a 55 from 416 to 471, like this. And if we uh, go down the input power, uh, reference uh, data and the foreground data, uh, we also have a difference like this, and uh, 52 degrees centigrade, and uh, for higher uh, pressure, 30 degrees centigrade. Okay. And then in this case, uh, ratio, excess heat by input power ratio is about 
10 percent, 0 0.1 to uh, 0 0.3. And uh, 10 watt input case is uh, about 15 percent to 25 percent. Okay. Okay, I would like to conclude my presentation. A new experimental setup based on the Mizuno's work uh, was introduced in our laboratory in, on, in order to confirm the anomalous heat effects. For all the cases, except for insufficient nanostructure palladium nickel case, a significant uh, temperature increases compared to the reference experiments were observed. Uh, it is possible that we successfully replicated Mizuno's work. And uh, experimental and uh, numerical results strongly suggest that the anomalous excess heat was generated by the interaction between nanostructure, palladium, and nickel surface, and uh, uh, D2 or DH2 gas. According to the EDS analysis, a lot of uh, elements were detec detected on the nanostructured surface. It suggests that uh, transmutation uh, reactions played some roles for the observed uh, anomalous excess heat generation, but however, a further analysis is necessary to obtain a solid conclusion. Thank you for your attention. Situation with uh, uh, nanostructures, surface, and without nanostructures. Okay? Nanostructure, yeah. And uh, what's the difference between the chemical uh, composition of the elements of, of uh, such samples uh, in the first and the second? Yeah. Oh, you, chemical you composition. About the, uh, we new, new, new elements. Uh, yeah, new about elements. Okay. New elements. Uh, this one. Uh, here, here you see many of the. Uh, very strange elements for, for example. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in the, when we have uh, non, uh, no non, uh, okay, non Okay, so you, you mentioned about the, uh, can I, I compare? Should, compare. I, should, I should, okay, okay. But in this case, in this case, uh, uh, in this case, we fabricate in the chamber. So <laughs> before experiments, before deuterium gas or hydrogen gas is impossible in this case. But anyway, uh, we have uh, a very pure uh, palladium and uh, pre pure nickel, and uh, we also uh, observe, uh, measure uh, many places. Almost all the places is uh, 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 usually uh, almost all the places uh, palladium and nickel. Oh, but yeah. at some point, we have uh, uh, this strange uh, element. Yeah. And uh, uh, points uh, four, four. Uh, this four is located uh, with, uh, yeah. with four is, uh, no, 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 no nanostructures materials, only... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yes, point four uh, is no na nanostructure, and yeah, uh, yeah. this, yeah. this and, results. And no silicium, no na potassium, and... Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Even Murasan, it was very interesting work, but let me clear mm -hmm. two points. Mm -hmm. Has uh, the pressure been steady? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's my question. Uh, pressure, pressure uh, uh, of the uh, uh, deuterium. Uh, our experiments, uh, pressure, we want to stable, but uh, stable. Uh, change, actually change, because uh, uh, very, it is very difficult, uh, constant. So. Uh, in this case, uh, fairly uh, constant, but uh, as you can see, the D2 gas pressure is uh, changing a little bit. May, may I suggest you something really mm -hmm. heretic? If you have your chamber, mm -hmm. have a little loudspeaker mm -hmm. and have uh, this gas oscillate and uh -huh. see the difference. Just a okay. couple of watts of additional. Okay. Uh, Thank you. See what happens. Mm -hmm. And one more heresy which was suggested by my great uncle, Edward Teller, whom I am related. Uh, anyway, really, 
uh, yeah. we are in the <laughs> same place. Okay. Uh, but it was, I was not allowed to tell that he is relative because he was uh, under the communist regime, the enemy of the system. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, he always suggested that, that a mixture of hydrogen and deuterium should be tried, not pure uh, deuterium or uh -huh. pure hydrogen only, but a mixture of them. Of course, it's a, an, an open parameter, but uh, try it because it's it's so cheap. Let's say 10% deuterium and 90% hydrogen, okay. and it it might be uh, quite uh, efficient and and beneficial. Thank you for your Thank suggestion. You. Thank you. Okay, Peter. <coughs> okay. So I am not related to Edward Teller, but at one point <laughs> I worked for him. <laughs> Um, your elemental anomaly <laughs> seems um, similar qualitatively to the elemental anomaly seen by Piantelli in Piantelli. the nickel oh. hydrogen experiment. And in Piantelli's experiment, uh, after he uh, cooled the system down and pumped out the hydrogen, mm -hmm. the nickel continued to be active for a while. Mm -hmm. And he was able to put it into a cloud chamber mm -hmm. and see particle emission coming off. Uh, in your experiment, I'm wondering in the if there's elemental anomalies like this. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering whether it might be possible mm -hmm. to put a detector in of some sort to try to see whether there might be okay. uh, alpha particle emission. Thank you. Okay, we got a minute. Uh, your experiment seems to be very well done and straightforward. But would ask, maybe you, you said it, but uh, you didn't catch it. Uh, I would like to ask you, how many layers did you, did you put on the um, nickel? Layers? No, no, layers. Ah, okay. layers? In this case, uh, we fabricate using a uh, uh, growth discharge. Yes. So it's uh, different from our previous results. So in this case, we uh, use a growth discharge. So uh, we cannot control uh, exactly in this case. So you, you, you didn't. Uh -huh, pardon? A cycle. Yes. Okay, How okay. many layers? Sorry. I think that you. How many cycles it was? Three cycles. <laughs> three times. Three. Three times. Sorry. Okay. Three, three Thank times. You. We, Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we uh, repeated this process. But uh, okay. Okay. That, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Sorry. Much. Okay. It seems that uh, when you get, uh, please, uh, no, oh, yes, okay, leave it. Once you get this excess heat, it's starting immediately as, uh, immediately when the hydrogen is present, you know, you raise the hydrogen pressure and immediately uh -huh. you get uh, this excess heat. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, what decides, again, the same question as this morning? To end up this yeah. experiment, could it, could it, could it, could it, could it go like okay. this forever? Uh, it's the same, same reason because uh, we have so, so many words, so we put. Uh, Good. We so there is down. no, uh, there is no reason to, to no have any interruptions. We would like to many uh, parameter. We may, we would like to uh, try using a many parameters, so we uh, shut down. Okay. Respect.